Hello viewers, you're welcome to Teens Corner, your number one program on TV. We are so glad to have you in this wonderful program today. First of all, I'd like to tell us that we have made little adjustment to our stage because this is not the stage we used the other time in our previous episode. We changed the setting for certain reasons and I hope you like this new setting we're seeing. And secondly, we want to apologize for bringing our second episode very late because of the pandemic issue that struck the world, struck every, every facet of the world was affected by the pandemic. And we apologize and we are back in full force and we thank God that God has answered our prayers and we are back with another exciting program on Teens Corner. And lastly, I would like to thank those of you that called and sent text messages during our last program. I was, I was so surprised. I got called, I got text messages. I want to say God bless you and we appreciate you. And for those of you listening right now, parents, call your children, call your younger ones, call teenagers because the program we're going to be talking about today is mind-blowing. I can't just hold myself. Just call them because we're going to be having fun in God's presence today. God bless you. With me in the studio today, I have very young people that will be discussing this wonderful topic with, and I would like to introduce them. They are smart, they are teenagers of Grace Tabarako Mission Owewe, Imo State, and they are here to do justice to this topic. Uh, starting from my far left, I have a very sister, she's wearing red, bedding in red. Please, can you introduce yourself? I don't know you. Who are you? What's your name? Um, thank you for this wonderful privilege to be live on your screen today. And my name is Abraham C. Divine. Thank Abraham C. Divine. I like the way you smile. It's so thank nice. You. Thank you very much. Okay, I have um, the the only man, the only young man we have in the midst of two ladies. Please can you introduce yourself. Hello, viewers. I'm Iba Uchi Zuchuku, and I'm glad to be on the show. Iba Uchi Zuchuku. So I can call you Izu, right? Yes. Izu, you're welcome to the show. And I have. Please look, look at this lady carefully. She's a lady. She's a very beautiful, young, and talented lady. That's why I have to bring her close to me to sit by my side. I want us to introduce yourself. Please, can you introduce yourself, Ma? Hello, viewers. My name is Abraham Sipros, but I'm so happy to be on Mr. Rentless. Wow. So, audience, we know their name. This is Divine. This is Izu. This is Prosper. You all are welcome to this wonderful Thank show. You. Hello viewers, you're welcome back and before I proceed, I would like to tell you that um, this program is brought courtesy of Praise Tabernacle Mission for where we in state and we are also known as the World and Worship Church. You can view our programs on Praise TV, you can get it on My TV Decoder anytime. We are on satellite 24 7 so you can watch this program and watch all that interesting and amazing programs. Thank you so much. In this program today, our topic, like I said earlier, is talent discovery and talent development. So I'll be doing justice with my guests in the house today, and I believe they are going to say something that will change your life and improve your life. Thank you so much. You're welcome once again to the program. Yeah, Thank you so yeah. much. So I would like to start by asking us a question. What is talent? Because we're treating talent discovery and talent development. So Izu, before the talent to you, from your perspective, what is talent? Um, thank you for that question. You're welcome. Uh, talent is that inborn ability which God has given to us at birth. Beautiful. The talent is the inborn ability that God gave to us at birth, okay? 
uh, divine. Do you have something contrary to that or what you just said? Yes. Okay. In addition to what he said, Beautiful. talent is the natural endowment of a person from God to humanity, which gives us the success, which gives us the ability to be successful here and there. Do you see why I said they are very intelligent? I, I, I can't even understand what you are saying, but it's prosper. Please, can you break it down? She's, she's operating for a very high realm. I can't understand what you're saying. So, prosper. Thank you for this down. opportunity to be here once more. Mm. Okay, I will start by saying talent is a natural gift mm. from God to man. Beautiful. I think she has just summarized everything. Yeah. Talent is a natural gift. You came from the perspective of a professor, you came from the perspective of a scientist that is talking to us as lay, as lay people. Thank you so much for a wonderful definition. And the second question is, because there's a myth about talent, and it says that not everybody is born with a talent. Currently, we have over 8 billion people on the surface of the earth right now, and is it possible that every one of us has a talent? That is the question. It's a myth. Actually, so I want us to demystify this myth in this lesson today. So I would like to ask us, uh, Izu, does everybody have a talent in Earth? Yes, um, yes. What's your proof? What's your proof? Okay. Yeah, according to research, it has been shown to us that the average person has at least three to five talents. Wow, amazing. But at well, most times, only one or two are discovered, developed, and eventually used later in life. We have many examples of us, but yes, matter to every student, yes, everyone has a talent. Okay, okay, ah, okay. Uh, Divine, let's hear from your perspective. Does everybody have a talent? Yes, everyone has a talent. Okay, okay. he said something. He said hidden talent. Okay. okay, now, like everybody's thumbprint is different. Everybody okay. is born with a different thumbprint. Your hands are not the same with the other. That is how our talent are unique. Okay. And now a verse of the Bible, which is Jeremiah 1 verse 5, has proven it that, yes, everyone has a talent. Okay. And it says that, uh, before I formed you, you the world, I knew yeah. the and you then did to be a prophet on earth. So everyone has a talent. That verse alone is a blueprint mm. that everybody is born with a talent. So yes, sir, everyone has a talent. Thank you, my professor. Yeah. I always call her a professor because she has a very broad perspective on, on issues of life. Okay. I think the point that she's saying that just that we have different... Um, fingerprint so, exactly. so everybody is born with a talent thank you so much for that perspective okay. and lastly before we proceed prosper do you have anything to say about this prosper we've said it all there's nothing more to say about it okay okay thank you so much now the next question i'm going to ask is a little bit personal and private i know that you're listening at home i want you to listen and answer this question for yourself so the question is do you have a talent do you personally have you discovered the talent you have because it's not enough to say have talent, everybody has a talent. You yourself have you been able to discover the talent you have? So I will ask that question to Divine. Have you discovered your talent? Yes, sir, I have. Okay, what is your talent? Just 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 tell what's your talent. Okay, um stage performance. When I mean stage performance, that is acting, modeling, and there's this one that is very, very unique and that is emotional intelligence. Yes, wow. sir. Yeah. She she listed three things. She talked about acting. He talks about uh, uh, what's the other one? Um, modeling. modeling, stage performance, and talks last. He talks about emotional intelligence. Yes. That is a very big grammar, but I believe we'll break it down. Is she has made a point about her talent? So I want to ask you personally: Do you have a talent? And yes. tell us about it if you have it. Tell us what talent you have. Yes, I have a talent. All right, I have talent. Um, I have a talent for football. Wow. And I also have a talent for science, especially chemistry. Chemistry, wow. You have a talent for football, for sports, and the science is especially chemistry. Okay, Prosper, what talent do you have? Okay, I have talent for dancing. Dancing. And I have talent for sports. Sports. Okay, now, can I ask you a question? I'm supposed to hear somebody say, I have a talent for ministry. To be a pastor. <laughs> is that not a talent? <laughs> why is that young people don't want to be whenever you hear the pastor ministry, why are you always scared of that? Is it, are, are, you, are you scared that God didn't call you or what? Okay. okay. Like I said previously, everybody's talent is unique. So <laughs> it's different. <laughs> okay. Again, so that ministry aspect. There are other people, teenagers out there that have this talent for ministry for pastor. But I've said my own, they said their own. Okay, so you have a talent for ministry. But the fact that you actually have a talent for ministry, 
Okay, when we we talk about that some other time, the truth to you that your talent can be used for the work of God, for the work of the gospel to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. And this is another question. I want to ask you guys a question now. You told us that you have talent. You have a talent for dancing, for for sciences, for chemistry. So the question is, how did you discover your talent personally as a young person? You need to tell us how you discovered your talent. I'll start with you, uh, Divine. How did you discover your talent? Okay. All right. How I discovered my talent. Okay. I uh, firstly I involved God first. That was the first thing I did. Okay. And I took a personality test. When I say personality test, what do I mean by this? I had to. I tried to evaluate the things I'm good at. The okay. things that gives me joy, okay. the thing, um, things that triggers my fancy. So okay. with that personality test aspect, I discovered my own talent. So that was okay. like two personality uh, tests yes, and two, uh, test. two uh, things to do effortlessly, your passions, things you are drawn to. Okay, that's very, that's very good perspective. So Prosper, how did you discover your talent? How do you know you're talented for sports and uh, how do you call sports and dancing? How do you know that? Okay. Um, how I discovered my talent is anytime, like for the dancing honest, anytime I dance, I derive joy in it okay. and I do it effortlessly. Yeah. My body is flexible for that. And I've noticed that anytime I dance, people always compliment me like, this girl, you're good at dancing. Okay, for the sports one, I have a flair for sports. Okay. What kind of sports? Is it running or wrestling? What kind of sports do you do? I do athletics. Athletics, yes. beautiful. That's very good. And that's a very good uh, pointer that you're actually talented in sports. So Izu, the man of the house. So how, <laughs> so how did you, how did you discover your talent? Okay, uh, thank you for that question. You're welcome. Uh, for football, I thought I had this liking for it. I had a uh, drunk sports. I had this liking for it in the sense that whenever I perform sports, I do it stress free. Yeah. Without like with ease, without I effort. easily do it. Mm. And I was, I thought I growing up, I had always good at it. Uh, I loved the sport very long. So I thought that performing for God that is good. What I got to know with the rules, every in and out of it. And I thought that the sport is a nice sport. Um, talk about chemistry. When I, uh, in my school, when you had, when I, when you reached the point of choosing within arts and sciences, I chose science because I was good in science. And within that science, I found that I was better. I was better off at chemistry. Okay. I had a lot of other things like other sciences. I had this likeness for it. I had this like I was drawn to it. Mm-hmm. This closeness to it. I did the best things than other sciences. Wow. And that's why I feel like I had the talent for it. Talent for chemistry. Thank you so much. Now this next question I'm going to ask you guys is very very. I want you guys to be very honest and let our audience know your. Let, let us know how your. Let us know what you really think about it. Now back to our next question. I want to thank you for your contribution. So the next question is, what efforts have you made to develop your talent? Because discovering your talent is not enough. You have to discover your talent and you have to develop your talent. Because when you have a talent and you don't develop it, that talent will definitely die. And most young people, they've lost their talent. Their talent has died. They've died and buried. But you need to learn how to discover not only discovering your talent, but also learn to develop your talent. So I'm, I'm starting by asking Izu, since you have discovered you have a talent for science, chemistry, and a talent for football, what efforts did you make on your part to see that you develop that talent? Uh, thank you for that question. Okay. Towards football um, aspects, I was making like, I was, I was saying work because I stopped making Wow, what, why did you stop making and effort about developing your football? I tried to do workouts. How? So we have back to my school time, environment, we didn't have that time. Okay. And I heard that football is a sport that needs time, time, time practice. Yeah. Okay. I stopped making effort. But when I was making efforts, I tried as much to practice the sport. But not find any center to go for. So what else can you say? I make researches. Okay. But then, then we have like, Parents, like, say some or if you know data from the I make a parents researches okay. with my 
things to do, step with the center, make researches, okay. get to know more. Okay. Yeah, that's why I put the focus. Okay, effort by doing research, by yeah. studying, reading journals and records. Okay, hell divine. So I want to ask you, uh, what efforts have you made to develop your stage management skill, your acting skill, and the emotional intelligence, as you call it? So what efforts have you made to uh, improve and to develop your talent? Okay, all right. Um, well, like I said previously, okay. you know, my talent is a practical one. Very practical. Yeah, yeah. very practical. So I tried, I participated in the jazz department. I act on stage. Wow. Yes, to help myself so that the talent will not die. Okay. And the, I tried to watch movies that will help me. Mm. I watch character that watch movies, not just for entertainment aspect, mm. but to be enlightened. Mm. Okay. So that's why I watch movies. Now, the emotional intelligence aspect, I. Okay, let me define the key word first, emotional intelligence. Beautiful. Okay, it's the capability of one to control, to influence, to manage your own emotions. Now, if you not have the ability to manage your own emotions, you can influence the other person. You can influence other people. So I try to be social so that I can get the attraction with others so that they can share their problems and we discuss. And in that way, they are gaining and I'm gaining that aspect. So that is uh, my development aspect. Okay, thank you so much, Professor. Uh, your perspective is amazing. Always as amazing as, as, as always as always as amazing as usual. So our last person is then uh, Prosper. Prosper, what effort have you made to develop your sports, uh, your career in dancing and sports? What effort have you made to develop your Prosper? Okay, the effort I made was to go for dance school. Dance school, beautiful. Yes, but I noticed that. It was like my academic year, I was reducing my academics. If it was clashing with your yes, academic my academic stuff. I noticed that whenever I go for the dance school, it's either I'm backsliding my academics or whenever I go for my academics, I'm yeah, backsliding, backsliding my dance. So the effort I made was to go for a dance school, but I'm not balancing it. So I had to like stop for the moment. But after, like when I like I'm balanced on both of them, okay. I will start Thank you very much for that perspective. Hello, yeah, thank you so much for your wonderful answers. And our next question is uh, I'll ask you if you want to build a career. Do you want to build a career around your talent? That's the next question. I'll start with uh, Divine. Do you like to build or would you like to build a career around your talent? Yes, definitely. Okay. For God to build this talent, that means you want it to be successful, like I said. Yeah, so definitely, I want to make a career out of my talent. Okay, what's your career choice? Okay, um, I want to further my education to get a degree in mass call, mass theater mm -hmm. arts wow. to help me. Now, the emotional intelligence aspect, I want to maybe do um, psychology. Psychology, yes. have a degree in psychology. Yes, I want to have a degree in psychology because it's going to help me very well. Okay. Yes, like I've Look up to my mentors. My mentors like the uh, Larry Michelle, of course, John Silverman, then Carson. And I, I figured out that they are not. They don't. They didn't just come up. Okay. They went to school. Yeah, okay. Yes. Educated. And they got that idea. Yeah. So I want to further my education in psychology as well to get the degree. Mm -hmm. Then in stage performance, that is mass call, theater, and stuff like that. What about counseling? Counseling. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yes. Yes. Becoming a professional counselor. <laughs> Yes, definitely. Yes. So that I can get the platform when I've got my degree and I have enough blindness to the platform to express myself yes, and to help teenagers and youth out there. Okay, uh, Prosper, uh, would you like to build a career around your talent? Yes, definitely. Okay, tell us I about would, it. I would like to build um, a dance school for those who have the zeal, passion for dancing so that they can develop it more. Okay. Thank you so much. That would be a picturistic goal, right? Yeah. Then over to you, Joe. Yeah. Um, it's my internal uh, talent of chemistry. I would like to enter into the medicine field. Medicine field. Yes. I would like to be a doctor. A doctor. Yes. Many would think at first that it's chemistry to do all that work that they do. Find the well, bomb the trap. For plants, things like that. But problems are, you know, you call me surgeon and other things. Okay. All that is easy to find. Okay. So, doctor, it's more, it's more recommended. 
Thank you so much. And this is our last question, our last uh, it's a word of encouragement for young people that have a talent that have not discovered it yet, those that have discovered and are yet to develop it. So I want you guys in 30 seconds just give a word of encouragement, a word of advice for young teenagers out there, starting from you. Okay. Um, um, always acknowledge God first. Yes. In everything, you make sure God is first. And education matters, very, very, very important. Yes. Education really matters. So when you've got to be defeated, you can further it. And um, the challenge aspect, definitely everybody will be going through challenges, everybody will be facing challenges. So the challenge aspect, remember one thing, without a challenge, there's no success. Yes. So when you, you, you have a challenge, you try to overcome it, then you get the success, okay? And another thing is, don't forget that there's a you in you that needs to come out. That talent in you that God has given to you, you need to figure it out. You may not personality test or anything. So try to figure it out and go with yours. Thank you so much. Over to you. Good work. As my colleague said, uh, putting God first in the world. Because it's him that put those talents in you, not us, not me. He didn't train for it. But he, there, there's no school we say the talent school. And go to this way and get to that it's God that gave it to us and his intent for that is for us to bring that school or make it a better place. My advice to everyone who has either discovered or not discovered a talent is that you should try and even if you have discovered you should not fail to continue pursuing it, developing it, say practice makes perfect. That the be challenges, yes. Oh, yeah. Challenges on the way, but that's what makes us better. Yeah. Gold on its own doesn't look attractive, but yeah. really refine it, it now makes it what we know today as gold. gold. Love and well as gold. Yeah. So challenges makes us who we are, makes us better. Please, the challenges are going to come. Please go through the challenges, make yourself better. And on other thing, pray. God is on your side. Okay. Don't do anything without God. Okay. Well, okay. That's my advice to everyone. Thank you so much. What do you prosper? Okay, my advice to everyone is don't be discouraged about what people say about your talent or something like that. And two, don't allow your talent to overshadow your academics. Mm. Like I said, my, I wasn't able to balance my own because 50, 60, I wasn't able to balance it, but by the grace of God, I'm balancing it. So now, don't allow, like I said before, don't allow your talent to overshadow your academics. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. We are so happy we have come to the end of the program. And before we uh, round up this program, we want every teenager here to give us a shout out to your parents, to your loved ones, to anybody you wish. We'll give you 10 seconds to give a shout out to you. Just give a shout out to anybody. Okay, what do you, uh, Divine? Give us a shout out. All right. I want to give a shout out to uh, Pastor Larry Michel, to his wife and his son. Wow. I want to give a shout out to Chris Savannah Kuku. I want to give a shout out to my mom, my dad, my siblings. I want to give a shout out to my teenager teacher, Sai Evans. Yeah, yeah. I want to give a shout out to you that is watching. Keep watching Chris Savannah Kuku. Thank you so much. I love you. Wow, that's amazing. Did you give us a yeah. shout out? Yeah, I want to give a shout out to Pastor Larry Michel and family for giving us this platform. I want to give a shout out to all our teenager teachers out there. Both the ones in us in studio here, as I advance, the ones who have partnered with us. I'll give a shout out to my family, loved ones, friends at home watching this thing. Uh, I'll give a shout out to everyone watching this. We will not each other, but this show has brought us together. I'll give a shout out to you. Please keep watching. I want to give a shout out to Zoe and Michelle. I want to give a shout out to my mom, to my dad, to my siblings. And I want to give a shout out to the teenager department of Press the Banana. Wow, wow, that's amazing. And I want to give a shout out to all people watching us now, right now, all over the world. Keep on watching Press TV. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching uh, this uh, wonderful program on Press TV. Don't forget that you're watching Press TV. And this program was brought to you courtesy Praise Tavana Commission, Oweri Imo State, also known as the World and Worship Church. And our vision is to raise men that will break the shackles of hell and humanity and provide kingdom solutions to the world. We are so glad to have you. Please, we would like to get your feedback. The number to be scrolling on the screen. You can take the numbers, you can call us, you can text us, you can WhatsApp us. We would like to get your feedback to know that you are actually 
you're watching this program and that you are actually enjoying this program till we meet again next time i want to think that we all love you we love you so much in our heart and we'll say we'll see you next time in the next episode god bless you <laughs>